Hi, my name is Pumika and in this lesson we're going to be studying about the reflex arc. So uh, sometimes it happens that we, we need immediate response from the body. That means if a nail hits us in our foot or we touch a hot object, in such a case you don't need, you don't have to have a lot of time before producing a response or it may, it may have drastic effects on the, the part that has got hit or is under injury. So in such cases a different kind of a neural response is responsible responsible so uh, this one is termed as as the reflex arc I'm sorry I couldn't include this in the previous chapter because I thought it was going too long so um, yeah moving on uh, let's study about the reflex arc the reflex action is an involuntary automatic and nearly instantaneous response to a stimulus the reflex actions have survival value in humans reflex actions are mediated via the reflex arc all right, so you've got to know this, that they have survival values. Oh my God, the highlighter is too big. Okay, sorry. A reflex arc is the neural pathway that mediates a reflex action in higher animals. Most sensory neurons do not pass directly into the brain, but synapse in the spinal cord. We've already studied this in the structure. The characteristic allows reflex actions to occur relatively quickly by activating spinal motor neurons without the delay of the routing signals to the brain, although the brain will receive sensory input while the reflex action occurs. So you You've got to note very basic points, very important points about the reflex arc, which kind of explains the whole process in a nutshell. It occurs relatively quickly by activating the spinal motor neurons without a delay of the routing signals through the brain, although the brain will receive sensory input while the reflex action occurs. So the brain is not responsible for the reflex arc, for the reflex movement, the reflex action, but it does, it does get an information that a reflex action has been followed. Okay, a reflex mechanism involves a receptor organ, an effector organ, and some types of communication network. When a sensory receptor is stimulated, uh, signals pass from it along a sensory neuron to the spinal cord. So sensory receptor, that means if I consider my fingertips, I've touched something hard, so I consider my fingertips as the sensory uh, receptor organ, then the message, it travels out of the spinal cord along a motor neuron to the effector organ. That means uh, it'll come out and it'll, uh, I'll consider my fingertips again the effector organ because I'm going to take my fingertips off the hot surface which shows the response. Such a pathway is termed as the reflex arc. In most cases, however, the basic physiological mechanism be behind a reflex arc is more complicated than the reflex arc theory would suggest. Additional nerve cells capable of communicating with other parts of the body beyond the receptor and effector cells are present in the reflex circuits. The sensory nerve fibers of a spinal nerve do not enter the spinal cord at the same place as the motor neuron fibers of the same nerve leave the spinal cord. The sensory fibers enter the dorsal part of the spinal cord while the motor fiber leaves the ventral part. We've already done this in the structure of the spinal cord in which the ventral root is different and then the dorsal root ganglion is different. But then uh, from, from the dorsal side, we get the sensory part and uh, from the ventral side, we get the uh, motor part. Okay, reflexes are again of two types. There are simple or unconditioned reflexes. In this type of reflex, the brain is not involved. The receptor is stimulated, which is conducted to the spinal cord by the effector. The effector neuron from the spinal cord conducts a response to the muscle or the gland. This causes an immediate reaction. It does not involve any thinking or reasoning, obviously, because the brain is not involved. But the brain, it does get a message that a reflex action and a simple or unconditioned reflex has been followed. So the second type is the complex or the conditioned reflex. This type of reflex involves the brain but it is also as fast as the simple reflex. For example, we, saliv we salivate on smelling our favorite food. The individual recognizes the smell and based on a previous experience, that means based on a previous memory, the response or salivation it occurs. Uh, the re recognition of the previous experience uh, involves the association centers of the brain. So that is the kind of uh, a conditioned reflex. 
okay so let's try to understand the whole process that we just studied diagrammatically firstly what happens is we have the sensory receptor there uh, let me change the highlighter to a pointer okay uh, we have the sensory receptor there which responds to a stimulus by producing a generator or receptor potential so uh, imagine a nail has hit your skin like that so this will go on to produce a generator or receptor potential which this signal is carried out by the sensory neuron in which an axon conducts the impulse from a receptor to integrating center so we've reached the spinal cord now then we have the interneuron which delivers the message from the sensory to the motor part and we have an integrating center which are one or more regions within the cns that relay impulses from the sensory to the motor neurons which kind of is played by the interneuron so now uh, this interneuron it transfers the message to the motor neuron a axon conducts impulse from the integrating center to the effector so this part is the effector part the motor neuron part and this will go to that particular area effector the muscle or the gland that responds to the motor nerve impulse so it will go to the effector portion and you lift off your foot right then so that was all about the reflex arc if you think i made myself very clear and you're you've understood this then you can also watch this lesson in hindi uh, for better understanding of course if you think the language kind of favors you um please follow me rate review and recommend this lesson wherever you think you should thank you for watching